your first warning forecast with meteorologist Natalie Stoll. Yet another hot afternoon here in Central Texas. Here's our heat index value. It's a combination of the moisture in the air and the actual temperature outside. So when you step outside, this is what it feels like. It feels like 102 here in town, 102 in Llano, 104 in San Marcos, and 103 degrees in Bastrop. And temperatures, current temperatures, are still in the low to mid-90s outside. So it's going to be another hot evening here in Central Texas. 93 in Georgetown, 93 in Giddings, 97 still in Llano, and 93 in San Marcos. Your evening planning forecast shows temperatures staying in the upper 80s, low 90s, still by 8 p.m. Once the sun sets, we'll drop a couple more degrees, but still be in the 80s through the 10 p.m. hour. We are only headed to the upper 70s by early tomorrow morning. It's going to be a weekend very similar to the past couple of days we've seen. Right now, mostly clear, 93 out of Camp Mabry, partly clear, 95 out of ABIA. Dew point still in the low 70s, so we still have plenty of moisture with humidity right in the 48 to 51 percent range outside. You can feel it when you step out. Winds still out of the south-southeast, very light. They're going to stay light through the evening hours. You're not going to have much of a breeze to help with those temperatures, and at least not over the next couple of days either. But with the moisture in the air, that means our mold count is going to be in the high category today with the count over 2,000. Tomorrow, expecting mold to be in the very similar category. Kind of uncomfortable for any allergy sufferer out there. Satellite radar shows that we have that ridge of high pressure in place. Now, just kind of the south of Louisiana. We had early morning showers with our low-level clouds this morning, but those clouds moved out. We're looking at mostly sunny skies right now, and just a few showers along the coast that could make their way into our eastern counties, but I think most of us are going to stay dry. The chance for rain is definitely going to end by the time the sun sets tonight. And this ridge of high pressure, especially in the upper levels of the atmosphere, is actually going to expand as we head into the weekend. So our air mass may dry out just a touch. That means afternoon temperatures a degree or two warmer and morning lows could fall a degree or two. But we're not going to see a whole lot of variance over the next couple of days in our forecast. We're going to expect more hot and humid afternoons here in central Texas. We are, however, though, watching a disturbance in the tropics. This is a, a system. It's basically just an open tropical wave, not really a tropical storm. and not expected to become a tropical storm, but as tropical wave moves into the Gulf, it could actually impact our weather here in central Texas by the end of next week. Maybe bring us some more rain chances and allow for more moisture to make its way even here uh, a little bit closer to Austin. Tonight, however, we're going to see temperatures very similar to what we saw last night. In the Hill Country, low to mid-70s. In the metro area, mid to upper 70s, and the same along our eastern counties as well. Tomorrow, temperatures are going to be hot. Most of us will hit the mid-90s. A couple places is not out of the question that you will hit the upper 90s. You want to make sure that you have your water and your light-colored clothing. And if you can, spend some time indoors through the hottest hours of the day. You're going to need it through the afternoon tomorrow. Tonight, down to 77 here in Austin. Mostly clear for the majority of the overnight. Overcast by early tomorrow morning. By the afternoon hours, though, mostly sunny, 96 degrees. A light south-southeasterly wind. And your seven-day forecast shows... Again, things aren't going to change a whole lot over this weekend. For Father's Day, 97 through the afternoon. We'll start out in the mid-70s there. Mid-70s again on Monday, early in the day. By the afternoon, plenty of sunshine. A little bit more cloud cover expected by the end of next week. We also have small chances, only 10% for an afternoon shower right now. But we are watching that tropical wave, seeing how it will impact our weather for the end of next week and into next weekend. Natalie, thanks. Live at 520, let's give you a check of the traffic.